Ciao Juventini of the world, I hope you are doing well. Middle of the night for me, it's afternoon or night, I don't know. Mo, what time is it, your time? It's 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Here it's uh, 2 a.m. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. So, uh, ready for Verona Juve, Mo? I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, let's do it. I know I missed the, the previous game. I apologize for that, but uh, I'm ready for this one. Oh, we won 3-0. We knew we could trust Pirlo, eh? on that one <laughs> and he did great two goals of Ronaldo one goal of uh, Weston McKenney for the people that uh, were not able to to see the last new 3-0 versus Crotone tomorrow a difficult game versus Roma me, uh, versus Verona why because uh, we are missing a lot a lot a lot of players Dybala will not be there Morata will not even be on the bench uh, Arthur still not there Quadrado Bonucci Chiellini and so on and so on a lot of problems uh just i show you i showed you, you the squad list uh, mo if you are okay yeah of course yeah, yeah forward absolutely. ronaldo rafia marquez ake ake we just bought him uh, yeah. from france is there immediately he's with the team uh peters is there capellini so you see a lot of young players eight players of under 23 difficult game especially because we have a really difficult team to face it's verona they are really well placed in ranking you will guide us through that so i expect a difficult one but i'm quite confident mo you prepared a lot of things for us i'm sure about yeah. that yeah absolutely for the people that doesn't know we have to do one thing before we have to change the order because this today it's mo that leads and not me i'm just there to move the graphics for everything that he presented we will go through a historic moment that's the most important thing i like these kind of historic moments then we go to the official lineup no not the official lineup but the lineup that mo predicted then we go to the strengths of the team the weaknesses the opportunities and what we really have to pay attention to the threat are you ready mo i'm ready let's do it Let's start immediately. So I share the screen. Historic moment. Yeah, so this was in 1985, in November. Verona and Juventus, they played against each other in the Champions League. Why Verona in Champions League? Because they won the league just before it. It was a miracle. No one predicted that. It was at the time of Platini and all that. And then here we see Platini scoring. Juventus won 2-0. But what's really interesting about that game, it was in the old stadium, uh, Il Comunal, and no fans. We had no fans there because of what happened uh, during the Hazel. So for two games, Juventus could not have fans. So it reminds us a bit of what we're facing today. It's crazy. That's really a really, really... I don't know how you could find this image, but it's really a significant image. Huh? Really crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful image, uh, Mo. Um, rankings? Yeah, so we're third. We're third, which is uh, a good thing. Uh, I don't think we can see the, the rankings. I didn't put them on. Ah, Here there we go. Here. Great. Yeah, so we're third. It's true. We lost one game uh, after winning three, but we won the last one, like you said, Crotone 3-0. We need to keep those green uh, spots there as much as we can. We're not far from Milan, only four points. And then we can catch up with Inter. Four points that can be virtually one, eh, for sure. Exactly. Exactly. We're we're gonna play against uh, Napoli. It's official, March seventeenth. So you know, uh, Verona is ninth. It's not that far. Huh? It's it's something uh, we're used to seeing from Verona from last year. Uh, they're top ten team. You know, they're playing well. They were up there for for a long time uh, in the top four or five. So it's a really tough team. We should not take them like uh, for granted. Sure. No, I, I, the, the rumors I heard and I was reading everywhere is that uh, at least the supporters are not underestimating Verona. And that's already a good thing. Uh, yeah. It's Verona. We know most of the time we should say, yeah, but if you can't win versus Crotone versus Pecha, blah, blah, blah. 
la after last year and also this season, supporters are taking them quite seriously. But it's not the only important game because we have also other games that are important more. Yeah, absolutely. So this is something new we're adding uh, this time is like what other games are being played by our direct rivals. So we have Lazio who's just behind us. They're playing Bologna and Atalanta as well. Uh, they're playing Sampdoria. So if we don't win and these two win, they're going to jump ahead of us. Mm. We have to catch up with Inter. They're going to play against Genoa and you have the big game, Roma Milan. Can't wait. Hopefully, uh, another, yeah, I, I hope in a draw, a beautiful 2 2 Roma Milan. That can be really beautiful. Yeah. The, the magic moment of Milan is over. Yeah, yeah. It had to happen. Now we are waiting for the, mag the, the magic moment of Inter to stop and we can have our glory. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about the lineups, Mo? Well, you don't have that much choices, right? No, no, we're very limited. It's either having uh, these three, the Miral de Ligt Sandro, or Draguzin, the Miral de Ligt, you know, and and removing Bernardeschi and putting Sandro there. Uh, I picked, you know, the most uh, experienced ones, and we're going to see why, because you're going to see how Verona play it. They're very aggressive, and they push a lot, so we need a lot of experienced players, fast players, uh so so that's that's really important and that's why we have bernardeschi from one side and chiesa they're gonna attack from the sides verona they're weak on 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 the side so this is where we need to uh go there and provide those crosses to ronaldo we saw like he scored two goals against crotone so we need the same thing yeah Again. and kuluzewski will drop back and then provide that support also in, uh, in defense, yeah, go, go, go. In defense, uh, normally we play 4 4 2, but here it's more of a, kind of a 5 3 1 1 uh, because they're gonna attack on the sides, mm. they're gonna push a lot on the sides. We're gonna look at their formation and we'll see why uh, it's really important to have players on the sides. So, this is exactly how uh, Verona and they play 3 4 2 1. Uh, and you're going to see Faraoni, Di Marco, they're very dangerous. They're the ones who's going to provide the, the passes. Zakani, uh, Barak, uh, all these guys, even Illich, they're going to go inside the box. Even Man Magnani also will, will, will go there. So, and the most important, the most dangerous one is Zakani in terms of goals and assists. Mm -hmm. So we have to watch out for him. Lasagna, I'm not too worried about him. But I see all the, all the arrows. That is crazy. And they are really, really pressing super high. So I understand why I will show again the previous one, why you go with five men actually in defense uh, when we don't have the possession to, to really contain the high pressure. Yeah. Makes sense. And we're going to see it. We're going to see it as a strength. We're going to see it as a weakness. Yeah. So, and an opportunity for us. What about Silvestri? Silvestri, you know, like as uh, other goalkeepers, when they play against us, they become amazing. So I'm expecting he's going to play a big role tomorrow against us. Yeah, especially these kind of uh, names, uh, Silvestri, Cragno, uh, Marchetti at the time. So we have a lot of, uh, uh, of goalkeepers. They become prime Buffon versus Juve. Let's see. I hope not. I hope not. Uh what are, what are their uh, their strength from Verona? Yeah, so let's let's look at that. Uh, you look at this formation here, that trapezoid that we can see there. Uh, you have Zakani and Barak. If you remember, they were normally behind Lasagna, but they go, they form that three, the front three, and you have Faraoni and Illich just behind them. And you're gonna slowly see Barak is going on the side, but you're gonna slowly see that shape reducing between them so the two lines they're gonna get closer and closer before going to the next image do, do me again that mathematical word trapezium what, what, what did you say Trapezoid. i love it <laughs> i i think you have to do it every time you have to insert that name somewhere in every el tactico video i love it <laughs> say, say it again and then we go to the next one trapezoid trapezoid i love it okay <laughs> so <laughs> 
So yeah, so you see Barak, he goes in, and then you have Lasagna, Zakani, you have the same shape again. They're all going at the same time and reducing the space between them. And the funny part is, if you see Zakani and Lasagna, they're taking their defenders with them, but no one's on Elich and Pharaoh. Mm. There's a lot of space behind. And this is exactly what happens. Barak, he passes the ball back, Hey, look, the number four you already gave up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Illich scores. Okay. And it's it's nice because that trapezoid, or I don't know how you call it, it's still there. Yeah. yeah. Look, one, two, three. Yeah. And other strength from Verona? Yeah. So this is another one, too. They're going to pressure high extremely high and you can see it here they take the ball from napoli and then they they start uh the uh you know the, the the attack again and you see that kind of trapezoid you see it a little bit but you know it's uh wider a bit wider this time where you have zakani kalinic uh and faraoni uh di marco he passes to kalinic and kalinic right away he passes to faraoni so again that's why the sides are really important and you see that the two lines, they're getting closer and closer. Yeah. In this case. And at the end, look, the two lines, they become one. And Di Marco and Zakani, there is no one on that. What I really appreciate and love when we are doing the El Tactico is not only you give me an example of one game because, you know, casualty sometime it can happen that you do something that you put in training during the game before but when you clearly see what they have different shirts different moments of the game we're, we're, and you see two three times the same repetitive thing then it's a thing that ha has been studied Mo, you are the goat i continue to say it what are what are their weakness yeah so here i picked uh you the game to talk about weakness and opportunity for us so here at the minute uh, 33, we have Ramsey who has the ball on the side. So this is where it's really important to have Bernardeschi, Ramsey when he comes in, etc., on the sides. Uh, Morata no, uh, and Bernardeschi are inside the box here. So you see there is also the diff there is a distance between Tameze and the defense. And this is where we need to put our own players there. And the fun part is, if you look at Lovato and Faraoni, Faraoni normally his position should not be there. We're going to see that space between them opening. And that's what, uh, if we look at the next slide, you're going to see it's actually between Faraoni and Ceccarini. You know, Lovato is getting far. Faraoni, he's trying to uh, go on Bernardeschi, but, you know, there is space between them. This is yeah. where it opens up. And we need to score. You know, you know, you know, I, you know who had to be there? Or maybe you have to put lower the volume. Yeah, I, let I me see. That. Is it Wait, better? Yeah, now it's perfect. You know, you okay. know who had to be there? Ronaldo. The goal versus Crotone. Cross from Ramsey, he was there. Exactly. Bam. Exactly. Was and that's 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 the reference I was going to make. And that's why I put uh, Chiesa is important. Sandro is really important as well. They're going to provide those crosses inside the box to Ronaldo. Mm. Here we know that Bernardeschi, he missed it. It went just in front of him. It, it should have been his goal because, you know, sometimes I see things that nobody see. Look, the number on his shoulder. Here, look here. 33, 33. <laughs> you know, it could have been perfect. 30, uh, the number 33 on the 33rd and 33rd second it would have been beautiful. That's but it. unfortunately, it was not uh, not not for him. Uh, no, I believe because Ronaldo was not playing the home uh, game where we played 1-1. Yeah. We did 1-1 uh, with the goal of Kulusevski at the end. I, I think you will speak about it now. Uh it's a total different team. I'm really curious, really, really curious, because he, yeah. he prefer you prepare some so, uh, other images, Mo. 
So speed is really important. This is minute 76, right? 77. You Verona is winning 1-0 in the sta stadium, you know? Uh, look how many players they have in our own half. And we have the ball. They're pressuring high. We have the ball, and Cuadrado was smart to pass it to Morata there. You know, so this is where we need our speed. We need uh, to do those long passes uh, because they're going to pressure. We can break their defense easily. Morata was really smart there. He passed it right away to Kuluzewski, who had Faraoni on him. Again, Faraoni normally he plays uh, on the right, not as a defender. So uh, Kuluzewski was able to enter the box. You can see they all went back, but also look how many Juventus players were there. You had Ramsey there, you had Dybala, Frabotta, etc. But Kuluzewski was able to score a very nice goal. Yeah, I remember. Luckily, he entered because he entered like the, uh, 10 or 15 minutes before. If I'm not wrong, it was the 61st minute he entered. And yeah. he changed the game, I remember. Beautiful shirt, huh? by the way. Beautiful one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to say it because we played just one time with it and then it's a collector so 1-1 uh, hopefully tomorrow something else but normally you speak us about uh, a threat a player that we really have to pay attention to versus Varona I'm really curious to see what player you then identify uh, this time more. Sh shall we go? let's do it <laughs> this time the threat is offside Look, it's it's becoming ridiculous. You can see the two lines, they're like almost there, just like centimeters away from each other. Mm. And Morata, he scored two goals. So this is why it's, uh, it's a threat for us because it can uh, remove a lot of goals. So we have to pay a lot of attention to this. Mm. I agree. So if you look at how high they pressure, if you look at uh, all the spaces they leave behind, we need to have great timing. Mm. I agree with you. The only thing that can save us is tomorrow Morata is not playing because he will stay at home. So the chances of us side are really limited. You saw the last time they tried with Ronaldo. If it was... Morata probably they the VR would have said that it was a tie, but it was Ronaldo said it was okay. So jokes aside, I think it's a really great one uh, this one because we are doing a lot of offside, so we have to pay, really pay attention to that. Uh, I was watching uh, before the game a few statistics. Also, uh, Dybala was the one with uh, the most shots on that game. Nine. We had Morata with the most uh, created occasions. Arthur most. Uh, ball touched with 98 and then we had Bonucci with the most false the coincidence is four of them will not be there tomorrow but we will win Ronaldo I'm really curious to see if we will see some some young players that we never saw uh, before entering like uh, Ake I'm really curious about that Ake I heard really yeah. great things about uh, also uh, Romeo Agresti told me really great things about him so let's see if he can uh, enter or Rafia or Rafia that will yeah. come uh, maybe in after his winning goal versus uh, Genoa in Coppa Italia. Would be beautiful. Yeah, I'm expecting more uh, Rafia, Dragusin coming in, Fagioli. These three, uh, the ones I'm, I'm expecting the most to, to come in in the second half. Do, do you have, uh, because we will go into the prediction now but before the prediction give me another prediction how many percentage of surprises can uh, pirlo create with entering fagioli starting starting fagioli oh like what's the percentage that he starts or yeah according to you a feeling because i know that you didn't put him but do you think yeah. there is zero percent or you you feel uh 25 percent yeah, still low but there is a possibility there is a possibility yes it can be that these are prices huh? with something uh maestro i'm curious yeah yeah well we have ramsey now so it's, it's gonna not be 
percent uh, to play the. He's not hundred percent, but that's why they didn't put him from the beginning. Mm. Let's see, because Verona is a high pressing team, so I'm curious. Let's see, let's see. What about your prediction of the score? <sighs> Two one Juve. I can't say. Last time I said something and then uh, we were uh, destroyed by the other team, so I will not say. Uh, yeah, I believe Ronaldo. I ask you, uh, Ronaldo will score according yeah. to you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We don't have a lot of other strikers, huh? so. No. Ronaldo. Guys. Ronaldo, uh, McKinney. Again, McKinney. Again. Uh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Guys. I uh, I see you tomorrow, probably a video in the morning, and then I see you for something really special on the Juventus channel of Twitch. We go there because we will have the pre-game two hours before the game. By the way, I have the I have the trailer for the people that watched until the end. Let's uh, let's give them 10 seconds of the trailer of tomorrow. Yeah. Amazing. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Italian time, we start. It will be two hours with me until the game starts. We'll see the lineups. We'll see a lot of things. So I hope you will be there. But again, an immense, immense, immense thank you to Mo at Shahali that you have to follow on Twitter. Grazie, Mo. Thank you, Giuseppe. And good luck with uh, the pre-game tomorrow. We're yeah, going to be rooting for yeah. you. Check. Eh? Watch. Eh? Oh, for sure, for sure. Ciao, Mo. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, everyone. Thank you for uh, watching, and I hope you like this one. Let's uh, win it tomorrow. We need to win right now. We need to win all the games. Make sure to follow, subscribe, like, and don't forget to watch tomorrow the pregame with Giuseppe. It's going to be epic. Ciao.